Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> so I'm starting to use a pregnant mom needs during pregnancy. Yeah, I know there are checklists for when you have your baby, when you have your newborn, things to put, um, pack in your hospital bag. I have a video on that and there are so many other resources online you can see. Even the hospital will give you that. But there's really not much for when you're pregnant, the checklist and the things that you need. So that's what this video is about. Probably might not need some of these items, but in your second trimester and third trimester, then you begin to see that there is a need for these certain things I'm going to talk about. For your comfort and support, you need a pregnancy pillow. Yes. A pregnancy pillow supports your back, your hips, and your belly. It actually helps mom to find comfort when sleeping. So one of the issues that pregnant moms face is discomfort in sleeping or finding the perfect sleeping position, especially in your second and uh, third trimester. But with this, it helps to support your back, your growing bone. And I want to say a big shout out to Mo Kodus for sponsoring this video. The second thing you need is a pregnancy belt. We also call it belly bands. It helps support your growing belly your pelvic pains and it reduces back pain yes so another one is maternity clothing that one is even very very important right you might first trimester you might like i said you might still just be wearing what you would normally wear but when your belly starts to grow and the bump starts to show you probably need maternity clothing you can be pregnant and still look good and look really trendy there are certain clothes that are designed for pregnant moms even jeans there are certain jeans their names that are designed for pregnant moms so you can always get those make sure you get quite a number of paternity clothes for your comfort to ease you so another one is maternity bras they support they give support for changing breasts because your breast will start to become fuller and all that so you might need to get some maternity bras to give you comfort in that area too yeah so um this one is not so compulsory but for people that sit down in for long hours maybe because your work requires for you to sit for long hours and all that or you travel and you have to sit for long hours then you need a compression socks yes compression socks will help you to have uh, not to have a swelly feet and allows the circulation of blood it's actually very um um, good for your health if you're someone that sits for too long or you're traveling and you're going to be sitting for too long now another one is a birthing ball they're essentially the same as exercise balls or you can say yoga balls but they're usually bigger when we use it as birthing ball you'd um, inflate it to be bigger it can reduce and help you feel more comfortable during labor many birthing balls are round but some are also in the size of a peanut and sitting on a birthing ball while pregnant is also great exercise, especially in your third trimester. It can strengthen your stomach and back muscles, can improve your posture and prepare your body for de delivery. Yes, people do use it during labor. I have a video of how to use it, how to use a birthing ball. I'm probably doing another video, a recent one. The, that one was an old video. And so birthing balls are also great, especially in third trimester. But please confirm your, your doctor if you can use it i think i've come to the end of this video if there are certain checklists that you used while you were pregnant and you're a pregnant mom here yeah, or you're a mom and you'd like to share with us please kindly drop in the comment section and um, i pray for everyone pregnant that the almighty god would give you the strength your built for birth and the almighty god will strengthen you to give birth to your baby healthy and you also will be healthy in jesus name all right so thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video